I'm here joined with Bain. How are you doing today? Oh, blessed to be here. This event is certainly one that you did not want to miss. Held in the HyperX Esports Arena. This is as big as it can possibly get. Yeah, definitely. And we're going to have some of the best fighters in the world. And I think we're starting out with the Zayef matchup versus Dirty Dave. How do you see that playing out? Number one contender versus the number eight. Last seed coming into this tournament. Dirty Dave has a lot of pressure on his shoulders, but what we have to remember is he's been here before. He's rallied against all of this momentum that Zayev has, and he's beaten them. They're one, one in the oh, ESL. Wow. That yeah. history in my mind should build some confidence in the young buck, Dirty Dave, certainly. Yikes. Robert the Reaper Whitaker steals the soul of the last style bender. The Irishman progresses in what was a fantastic back and forth. I mean, Definitely. both competitors had huge moments. You talk about Trixie rallying so many times, co recovering from those knockdowns. That is what you want to see from these competitors here today. Exactly. With such a beautiful performance, we have to look at the highlights from that match. That match. Time and time again, any time that it hit the mat, Trixie did have some tricks up the sleeve, right, as the name would suggest, but sometimes you run out of tricks, and it, Suave Jamie just wow. is a consistent powerhouse, an offensive animal. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together all the way from New York, your ESFL Live World Champion, Anthony Romero! We talked about the ability to weather some certain storms. That's the ultra runner coming in. Can Alex Russell rally? Big right oh! that's it! That is it, Omar the Prince Ali with a big third round stoppage. He's back in the win column. You gotta wonder if his corner is now wishing they would have thrown the towel on that one. That was, they sent him out. He's already compromised to start that round and he got finished in an ugly way. Omar Ali celebrating on the ropes like a true prince. What a finish from that one. Massive respect to Russell for staying in there as long as he could. He's bloodied up right now, but certainly earned the respect of everybody here tonight. Alex. This is bad news for Jason Bayona. He's looking for the, the rear naked choke. Woke. It's tight, and he taps. Tap. Wow. From Philadelphia, William Woke submits Jason Bayona in the early frames of round number two. I mean, once he got to the back, it was clinical, it was cerebral, and it was a rear naked choke stoppage. Once he got both hooks in, he was able, able to push with his hips and flatten his opponent. He got a good, clean, tight uh, hold of his neck, and he finished with the rear naked choke. He said he was a avid grappler, and he showed some very good grappling skills in this match. <sighs> Five two-minute rounds. I doubt we'll need all of them. Chris Putton and Steve Garola. Expectations are high for Putton after that eight-second KO. Steven Garola answers the assignment tonight. Residing in Queen Creek by way of Munich, Germany, here is Chris Putton. Steven Garola representing the lab in the main oh. event. Oh, a big strike early from Putton. Surprising quickness oh. for both these men. Look at the power that Putton possesses. Oh, oh right Chris Button gets stunned though, Steven Garola. Bring me up the middle. What a knee by Putton. Steven Garola weathering the early storm, but Chris Putton looking as fast as lightning. The lion seeks to destroy his prey tonight. Steven when the front kick right to the midsection. Chris did not like that. Beautiful adjustment though by Steven Garola, right? Maintain the range, maybe. Oh, big left hand from Putton. Steve Garola and new, sir, how does it feel to be the heavyweight champion? Feels good, it's been a long time coming, man. Uh, worked really hard for this, this week's been rough. Uh, shout out to my coach, DLT, man. Just instilled it in my mind, it's already mine, so, yes sir. Tell me about that first round, Chris Putton landing some of those left hands, were you hurt at all? Uh, no, I wasn't hurt, I, uh, I just, I, I, need, I, needed a couple, I needed a couple of those hits to uh, get me going. And I'm just glad, I'm glad, I'm glad he landed those hits because I would have been activated. How did you feel about the durability? I mean, he went down several times. At one point, were you thinking, man, what do I got to do to get him out of here? Uh, man, I mean, a lot of, not, it's, this ain't for everybody, man. This ain't for everybody. And uh, uh, you got to be a hard body to be in here. And that's just what we know. Steve Guerrero, what is next for you? Obviously, leaving 2022 as the champion in 2023, what can we expect? Oh, uh, man, you, got, you can see me, you can try to see me in the uh, mixed, mixed martial arts, man. I'm trying, to, I'm, trying to get, I'm trying to get in the UFC one day. <laughs> And new, Steve, you're well on your way. Congrats, sir.